What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger for you guys today. We got ourselves a Weakness Policy Metagross alongside with Tapu Fini and Regilecki team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way and it only takes a second of your guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit, click that little like button, that little thumbs up button, and that big big rectangular subscribe button it really does go a long way thank you guys so much for the support but this team right here is looking fire it really is looking strong i cannot wait to hop onto that rank ladder and get going with it we got metagross in the top left corner and this thing is an absolute beast one of the best series seven pokemon we got clear body and weakness policy with the move set of iron head stopping change on protect and ice punch Right next to him, we got the Wakanberry Prankster Tornadus right here. It is our Tailwind Pokemon and also has Icy Wind to slow down Pokemon. The Brutal Swing Hurricane as his final move. We got my face cam, the one and only Tapu Fini with that Misty Surge and Leftovers. This thing has Protect, Muddy Water, Moon Blast, and Calm Mind. I absolutely love Calm Mind. We can boost her defense and become an absolute tank with this Tapu Fini. Right next to her is actually choice specs regilecki with transistor over here and just an absolute electric powerhouse of moveset we got electro ball electro web thunderbolt and volt switch this thing is going to be able to hit hard with his stab moves and then get the choice spec boost on top of it urshifu down the bottom left corner fighting in dark one with the unseen fist and the focus ash and then a fairly similar moveset with the wicked blow protect sucker punch for first turn priority and close combat for big stab damage then the final pokemon the one and only good old support pokemon ken it's actually like a really good all-around pokemon incineroar right here intimidate has his ability drops physical attack stitches prayer to give it some more hp parting shots we can swap out and drop attack again flare blitz for stab damage and potential burn fake out because fake out rocks and then dark slayer for its dark stab move guys you want to try out the team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop onto that right double ladder and try to get some wins with this team Let's get after it, guys. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has, like, a off meta? Kind of? Not really, but strong-looking team. It's kind of weird. He's got the Excalibur alongside with the Malamar, the Spectre. We already know about that. The Tapu Fini's really, really strong. The Tesserine or Serena. I, I forget how to pronounce it. I know you guys are going to go in the comments section down below. But, like, jeans. You say you do it. <laughs> that's just exactly what's going to happen. But I love you guys. And then in the final spot, he's got the support comfy. That thing is absolutely amazing. Um... I think I roll out with a with a Tailwind Pokemon. Let's see if anybody said Trick Room. I don't think any of them can set a Trick Room. Actually, Comfy can set a Trick Room. Comfy can set a Trick Room. So maybe we don't go in the Trick Room. Those Pokemon aren't really that fast. Maybe we just leave Metagross. And then we could pose a threat with Tornadus. We could just throw Tornadus in there. Let me see this thing's move set again. Is he win Brutal Swing Hurricane? Okay. I kind of kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. I could just leave Top of any potentially get off a Calm Mind. I really do like the Metagross lead. Uh, we could go Regilecki, just Volt Switch out and see what we can get in. I think I just lead an Incineroar, because I can potentially fake out, and then roll with Finny, and then in the final spot, go Urshifu? I'm kind of liking Urshifu. It's Urshifu or Regilecki. I think Urshifu's going to take the cake here. Let's get it. Let's go Urshifu here. He's got the big fist. He's got the wicked blow for a 100% for crit move. And then what is it, 80 base power? So it's, it hits pretty hard. It's pretty hard, and then it has the stab damage on top of it. Well, let's get rolling here. This guy's rocking the fancy gold suit. Fancy gold suit is rocking out here. Um, who do I think he really is gonna lead? I could see definitely a comp a comfy combo, maybe trying to set up a trick room. That's why we did bring that instant war for the potential fake out. And he goes okay, Serena and Spectre. Okay. And is that like physical attacking or special? I think it's special. But I know uh Serene's physical, so that's good. That's always wonderful. Intimidate coming out here. And cannot go for the fake out because of Queenly Majesty. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. So let's just drop a, a flare blitz. And we do get the Intimidate off. Uh, I could protect, I could Ice Punch. But I think I might just Dynamax and start boosting up. Is that thing special attacking? Like, that's the real question. I'd rather just uh, go for this and get after it with that. And then, uh, I could Party Shot, which I probably am going to do. Yeah, I'm going to Party Shot on this Spectre. Get after it. And it's fine. Because, again, we cannot fake out because of the Queenly Majesty ability. So why waste a turn? I waste a turn. So we're just going to party shot, we're going to roll out, we're going to Dynamax Big Boy Metagross and try to get rolling here early on. And then I think I bring in, uh, I think I bring in Finny and potentially try to set up a Combine. Or, or I can just bring in Urshifu. But I could definitely see a swap from maybe the Serena coming out here, because I'm posing that big fire threat. And he's going to Dynamax as well. He's going to Dynamax, which is totally fine. Once I get this party shot, we'll start dropping his, uh, attack stat and all that good stuff. And we'll get rolling from there. Yep, big old horse, you get in the Dynamax. You guys already know, yo. These horses are no joke to play around with. Very, very strong Pokemon. They absolutely rock out. They hit hard. They're bulky, too. Probably weakness policy. Or this one, I usually see more life orb. Usually Glacier, I see a lot of uh, 
weakness policy on that, but this one I usually see Life Orb. But we'll see what item it has in just a second. Because if it's not Life Orb, I'm going to say it's either weakness policy or maybe a Soul Vested, but I don't really see a Soul Vest on them. We got the policy on Big Boy Meta. 183 turns into 366. Dude, this thing's such a tank. I absolutely love Meta. He's so good. Here comes a U turn. That thing's U turn out. That's totally fine by me. Did a little bit of damage to me. I'm going to parting shot out. Hopefully, Incineroar out speeds. That would be absolutely lovely. So, we did not go for fake out, which was actually a really good call. Really, really, really good call. Malamar comes out here. That's fine. And that thing is it does have topsy turvies, which I do not like to see. I do not like to see. He's going to quake us. And that's going to pro. Ooh, who are you going after? That's a real question. Okay, Incineroar. Can you eat, buddy? Yes, I love you, Incineroar. Incineroar is able to eat, which is absolutely wonderful. Considering he doesn't get the, uh, the, the his ability boosted and shows life orb, and we can get off this part and shot our berry triggers, we can swap out and have them for later usage. Okay, All right, let's get after it. Let's get after it. Here comes Seal Spike. We're gonna get that defensive boost. Get it built. Get some nice damage off on that thing as well. We that big old boost. This thing does have topsy turvy, which is kind of scary. Here comes part and shot. I mean, I drop. Let me drop you, boy. Let me drop your attack stats, both special and physical. That's why. I, that's why I love about parting shot. It drops both. So if you don't really know if they're special or physical, you can kind of just roll out of that. Uh, I could bring out Urshfu. Urshfu will outspeed, and he could do big damage onto that uh, Spectre, which I, I'm actually gonna bring him out here instead of the Finny and save the Finny for the back end. Get out there, Urshi. Get out there, boy. Get my boy out there, and then I think I just drop a. Uh, I just drop another Steel Spike over on this side. Then I just uh, Wicked Blow over onto the Spectre. I think this could potentially take him out, right? We have that Focus Ash, so we can always Sucker Punch next turn. But again, I think Urshifu is fastest on the field right now. So I'm hoping this takes him out. I'm hoping this takes him out. It's going to be cutting it close. I think it cuts it close. This is only, he's special defense boost, not physical. So if we can pick up this KO, that's a big turn for us. That is a big, big turn for us. I think he's wondering if he should actually protect. I think that that's what he's thinking about, which I'm fine if he does protect, because we're, we're going for a Steel Spike over on the uh, Malamar slot, which is pretty big. And then we can always just roll into the Wicked Blow next turn. Let's see what you got, fool. Let's see what you got. Here goes the Phantasm. He, it, oh, he outspeeds me, dude. This horse is fast. This horse is fast. And was that not very effective doing that much damage? It's a critical hit. Jeez, man, dude. This horse is fast. I, I, I keep thinking it's like Glacier. I guess this one's a lot faster than the other one. But defense drop. Can we get off this wicked blow, please? Thank you. This should be able to KO, right? Yeah, get out of my face. Okay, I really do like that. I really do like that. We get that guaranteed crit. I know we outspeed the Malamar. Um, we still have Incineroar in the back, which is pretty big. And I think it's seems like Turby. Go for a topsy Turby and drop my defense. Let's see what he does. But well, we go before it. So we're plus two on defense right now. Hopefully he doesn't Turby up. Because I can always sucker punch. I can do something, something insane. Cool so who's he have left? He has uh, Serene. But that's crazy. That move was not very effective and it still put us down there. Here goes Topsy Turvy. It failed. You'd love to see it. Who was he going after with that? How did it fail? I'm a little confused on how it failed. I guess because we're clear bodied? Maybe. But, you know, I'll take that all day. Now my Metagross is sitting full health. This thing's popping out here. Uh, do I Sucker Punch? Because this thing. Wait, let me see my Urshfu's speed. Maybe I don't think. My... Maybe I think my Urshfu's faster than what it really is. No, 163, that's fair. I'm surprised that uh, the Spectre is that fast. Um, what should I go for here? Drop a Hailstorm. i just boost our defense again, which would be actually really good. I'm going to boost our defense again. Then I say we potentially outspeed this thing and KO it with a Wicked Blow. Let's see. Nope, Razor Leaf comes out here. That's a double-hitting move. That's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Critical hit on the Urshifu, even though it's on 1 HP. I should have Sucker Punch. That's why I need to learn. I need to learn more stats. I need to learn more stats. This comes out here, doing some nice damage, and now we're plus three on the defensive board. And now I get out Incineroar or Finny. I think I save Incineroar for that fake out later. Just for a trick room. Ooh, ooh, that actually works better for my Metagross here. Ooh, -hoo. fancy, fancy, fancy. Uh, Incineroar. Now let's get Finny out here. Let's get Finny. So I can just uh, I can just pick out the uh, what's called easily. I say I just calm mine here. Cause who else is yet? Because Malmar. I say I just calm mine, and I finish off the the serene here. Yeah, let's calm mine, finish off the the serene, and then we're gonna roll out. 
That's just roll, uh, roll Iron Head. Get that stat. Actually, nice punch it. Nice punch this thing, take that thing out. I'm just gonna calm mine. I'm gonna play this one a little bit smarter. Get my calm mine rolling. Top Serpy coming out here. Get my Meta Ghost. Here goes my defensive drop. E, leave me alone. All stat. How come I failed? Can you not use it on Dynamax Pokemon? I mean, I did it before. I think it's my calm mine. We're boosted here. That Trick Room's definitely helping out that Malmar a lot. And he's probably going to top turvy me now. Okay, Ice Punch coming out here. Nope, that should be able to pick up the KO. Beautiful. And then I can just uh, Moonblast. Have that thing waste a turn with Turvy. And what's his final mind? That's a, that's a good question. Who is your final mind? Is it a Comfy? I can see it being a Comfy, which I would love it. It's an Excalibur. Okay. An Excalibur. And then I think I just protect this turn. I take out Malmar with a Moonblast. I think that's the play. Come on. I need Excalibur to pop off or go after my... Uh... I probably should have swapped my Metagross. I should have swapped my Metagross here. I'll swap him next turn. I'll swap him next turn. He's minus three. We'll get out instant War for the Intimidate drop. And we'll be thriving with it. I think that that's 100% the play. But I'd rather have a Metagross without minus three on defensive board, you know? But yeah, that's definitely next turn play. We're calm mind boost it. He's probably going to turn us, right? He's just going to go for a drill. Run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chill on me. Chill on me, man. What are you going for? He's going to go for top serving. That's, that's, that's a fair play. That's a fair turn for me. I'll swap Metagross this turn. I'll take out Malamar here. And then we'll get rolling. Cause I'd rather just play. I'd rather just play it super, super safe. There you go, Malmar gone. We are minus one on each dif or on the defensive stats for for uh, Tapu Fini, but that's not as bad as a minus three. Like minus three, that that could be a, a, a we could lose a game. But I'd rather just play it safe. Swap the uh, swap the Metagross, get out my Incineroar, and then finish off this match pretty much with my uh, my Tapu Fini. Just doing damage over on this thing. But yeah, dude, good good first battle. Let's get it. Let's get it. But that one pretty strong. Again, that, that Spectre was was a big problem. So once we took that out, it was kind of just like us rolling out, getting that win. But yeah, it was a big play by the Urshifu coming in here and uh, being able to actually have that Focus S. The Focus S is huge on Urshifu's. That's why I absolutely love that item on it. I feel like there's not a better item for Urshifu than a Focus Ash. Because they hit hard and you, you need them to hit a lot of times. Zenor is going to go down, but still. That's totally fine. We're not minus three anymore. My that was more so the play that I want to make. And then Muddy Water comes out, and then again, we just bring out the Metagross. Metagross should be able to clean this one up, no problem. And give me the Axe Drop. We do get the Accuracy Drop, let's get it. <laughs> There's our leftovers, yeah, this, this one's, this one's over with. We're back to normal, and we still have our weakness Pulse. So if this guy wants to roll a drill run, because I believe that's a ground move. That'll be super effective, that proc policy. Uh, as long as he doesn't like, get a crit and one tap us, then we should be fine. I think stopping tantrums are only only viable move here. I'll start boosting. Nah, I say we just keep muddy watering. Just keep trying to do some damage on this thing. But again, I think he hits me. Prox weakness policy. Because I don't see us going down to just a drill run. I don't see us going down to a drill run. Three. Bulky boy metagross. Oh, he's gonna go for an iron. Okay. We eat. It was a berry, or not a berry, or muddy water. Hopefully, get another act drop. He doesn't want to proc weakness policy. I think that's his, that's his, that's his one little play. He, he doesn't want to. Do. Stomping tantrum gonna come out here, and we're just gonna slowly start cleaning this one up. Give me that leftovers, baby. We rolling now. We rolling now. I think like my Finny could just win this one one on one, and now we outspeed. So that's definitely game now. I think it's, I think this muddy water and stomping tantrum comes out here. There it is. Battles canceled. Awesome. One and zero to start off this video. Pretty scared for the second battle right here. Looking very, very strong. He's got the Twinkle and Venusaur combo. That's amazing. He got the Trick Room with the Porygon Z alongside with that Glacier. Glacier is an absolute monster. Absolute monster. Kind of scared of that. And then he's got the Urshfu and Regilecki as back end Pokemons. How should I go in this? I think I got it. Mm, do I have to set up a tail one? Look, if he gets Porygon, then that's a threat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, He's got the Torkoal. Who do I want to go into? I mean, I feel like what's called is not a bad lead, the Incineroar. I think Incineroar can come in here, hit a fake out, and then maybe swap out. Do we go Finny? I don't think we go Finny here. I don't think we go Finny for a lead. This one's tough for us. Go Tornadus. Tornadus isn't too bad. Let's see this thing's moves again. I forget him already. Hmm. Uh. Bruh, 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 bruh. 
Br -br 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 I think we can go Metagross to drop an Ice Punch. I think that's a fair Pokemon to go into. Wait, she's here. I definitely want to bring that Ursh. Then Finny? I think of Finny. That's the same team that we brought. Yeah, I really do like this team right here. I think it's fine. It's just a different order. No, this is, no, this is the same order, right? Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm actually fine with this. This team is very, looking very, very tough to go up against, especially against the team that we have. I really do not know how to play it. But if he leads the Porygon team, maybe we should have led the Urshifu and the Incineroar so we can fake out and then just dump no trick room allowed. But I'm going to try to fake this thing out and get after Porygon if he does lead. He goes Torkoal and Venusaur. That's who I kind of did think he was leading. That's why I thought Metagross was my best option. Considering we could just fake out on the Torkoal. Because I really don't want that Torkoal doing too, too much here. Uh, do I parting shot? How do I do this one? No, 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 no. We cannot parting shot. I, I need to figure out this tool. I cannot have it getting off an eruption. It's just terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Or. Or. He does have Quake. He does have Quake. But I don't really see that taking, taking out my Incineroar in one shot, right? So we go for the flinch on this thing. It's not very effective. Poppy tantrum. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna protect my Metagross. I'm just gonna protect my Metagross this turn. Do it. Is he gonna protect Venusaur? He's gonna Dynamax it. It was either Protect or Dynamax. So he's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna roll off to the Max Quake over onto my Incineroar slot. Try to get off an Eruption. This is what I think is gonna happen. We're gonna eat up Quake. We're gonna be able to do big damage on this Venusaur with the Flare Blitz and the Heat. And then, uh, Heat Wave or Eruption takes out my Incineroar. And we protect our Metagross here. As much as I want to go for Fake Out due to Flare Blitz and his Heat against a Venusaur could be huge. There's my Protect. Oh, he's gonna ooze. He's oozing. Over onto. Okay, that, that that works for me. That I, I actually like that a lot better. He has a special defense or a special attack boost. He gets a crit as well. And that's a special boost for both of them. Okay. Here's Flare Blitz. Yeet. Big damage. Big, big damage. Big old damage. Here's my Barry. That's exactly what I want. I want a big damage on that thing. Um. We're both gonna go for Heat Wave. We, we blocked that. Uh. Hmm. So no one does eat. Lovely. So I, I can actually pose this huge threat right here. By going like that. And quaking. I really do like this. I'm really liking this player right here. He's special attack one. Do I do this? Is this the play? Oh, I think he's just gonna dump on the Metagross. I think I have to swap. I feel like I have to swap here. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it would have been right play to go into that, that Max Quake over on that Torkoal? I don't know. That would have been really close. That would have been really close. That would have been really close. Here comes the ooze. Coming out onto that side. Okay, that's fair. Plus two boosted. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. I need like I need Venusaur to go, but sort of. Bruh. What you mean? Here comes the heat wave. How much damage it does to Finny? That would've that would've that would have punked on my Metagross. Would have punked on my Metagross. Hands down. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna Dynamax Metagross now. Now I have Finny out here. I think this is my last time. I have to Dynamax Metagross. I think I have to Dynamax him. Go into a quake. Get that defense boost. Protect? Or Muddy War? I say we protect. This Venusaur is definitely gonna try to get off that G Max out of Vine Lash. Which that still might take out my Finny. Regardless. Ooh, dude, this combo is so good. It's so good. 
Like I said in the beginning, I was just like, I don't know what I'm going to do up against. I think this is my last option, is doing big damage to this Torkoal and being able to eat up a, uh, a plus two heat gate. Hopefully we get a crit. Maybe, hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> but it's going to be plus three. He's going to Uzi. No doubt in my mind. So, uh, yeah, actually, like I said, he might Vine Lash. I hope he... Actually, I don't know which one, because then we get the Pester damage from the Vine Lash. Which is terrible. But this is my last option. Probably should have Dynamax him last turn, as he was only plus two. But now he has a potential chance of being plus three. But we will get a, a boost right here from our special defense. Here comes my protect from my Finny. I don't need Finsters here. I need you, Finny. I'm gonna change up weather too. Torkoal protects. Actually, I'm fine with that. I don't like that a little bit. Here comes a Quake. Oh, you're gonna proc my policy? Please proc my policy. Yes, sir. Don't take me out. Okay, okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. I gotta protect next turn now. I gotta protect next turn. This Venusaur outspeeds me. There's my policy. E! Okay. Proc policy. Yeah, that heat wave probably would have took me out. That's stab. Here's this. And some decent damage to protect. Um. Dang, I could have caught mine there. We need sun to end. Like, the sun is, 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 is not our friend right now. I think if we protect this turn, I think sun will end, right? Let's see how many turns are left. Because if Sun ends, then we outspeed we roll into Urshfu and finish off some things. Let's see. Go. This one. Oh, dude, this one's over with. I got a guard, though. I got a guard and go go for this, I guess. <laughs> like, I have to. Like, Venus is just outspeeding. He's eating all day. I got I to gotta hope for maybe a double guard here. Or I can... Oh, I can sucker punch Venusaur. I can. I can. And that's going to have to be... What does it? What does the job for me? But I need Tabu Finny to go down here. So if Tabu Finny doesn't go down here, that power comes out. Blah! Get out of my face. Then he's gonna go first. We do a little bit of damage all around. Muddy water. Yeet. If Finny doesn't go down here, then then we're in trouble. Do what happens here. Earth power. That should actually take out my Finny, right? No, it does not. And I need it. I need it, Finny, to go down there. I actually need it, Finny, to go down there. I mean, I have to go for another guard. Can I pull it off? This is my, this is my only option, because Metagross goes down. Pull off the, the double guard. Come on! You got this. You got this, Metagross. Oh, my God. I pulled it off. Hold up. Wait a minute. Dang it. It doesn't do anything. It does not do anything. It doesn't do anything because Torkoal didn't take out my dang Finny. Oh my god, that would have been clutch. That would have been clutch. That was our that was our last ship. Actually, sunlight fades. Sunlight does fade. The harsh sunlight does fade. I could swap Metagross. I could swap Metagross. <laughs> this is so tough, man. Hmm. We cannot swap Metagross. We cannot. Go here. Go into the muddy water. I need it. I need a Finny to go down there, and then I keep my Metagross because he's policy proc. I, I knew this one was gonna be a tough one anyway. Metagross out. Oh, he outspeeds Venus. I didn't think that was happening. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Finny, take this thing out. Take him out. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Time to go home. Time to go home. Oh, your boy. Your boy's too good. Yo, hold on. If we win this game, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself because I, I don't think I don't know if we're gonna win this game. Still, the double guard was clutch. Oh my lord! I didn't think Metagross was outspeeding Venusaur. I thought Venusaur had a, had a little speed advantage on him. I, I knew I knew we were outspeeding Turtle all day because Turtle's a little, a little slow tortoise. But yo, we got ourselves a good battle right here. What's the chance of double guard? Is it 50% and then does it half itself every single time? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but okay. Glacier is coming out here. And Porygon too. So you might try to set up a trick room here. He's going to download. He's going to get downloaded. I could calm mine. I could actually calm mine here. But I'm going to go for this Iron Head. 
And I'm gonna calm mine. Let's go. Let's go, Metagross. I'll speed these. Hunks of Junkos. There you go. Alright, here you Take it out. Bro, yo, come on. <laughs> come on! Let's go! Let's go. We got Urshfu in the back end. Yo, your boy's too good. Your boy's too good. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yo, actually, I didn't ask this at the beginning of the video, but let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would be down for a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You guys are down for a Pokemon Nuzlocke. I would like to do one maybe on like Gen 1 or 1 to 4, one of those games, and do a Nuzlocke on them. I think that could be tons of fun. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are interested. If you guys are, I'll definitely try to get one rolling for you guys on the channel. But yo, clutchest battle ever? We're, st we're too good. We're too good, dude. Nah, yo, not even gonna lie, yo. That double max guard won us the game. That double max guard won us the game. Hands down, let's get it. Final battle coming at you guys, and we're looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys, and this guy has another Spectre team. We're going up against one. Um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to get a Tailwind on. I really do want to get a Tailwind on. Uh, who else do I want to go into? I could go Urshifu. I feel like Urshifu might be a decent lead. But then if he goes into, say, his Incineroar, then we're like, ah, what should I do from that? Uh, I actually might leave Finny. I think I might leave Finny, bring Regilecki. I really do want Regilecki up in here. Because I really do want to show off the Regilecki. And final spot. Could go towards... Ah, dude, actually, Regilecki doesn't really thrive here. I definitely want to bring you, and I kind of want to bring Incineroar. I don't want an Incineroar. I said we roll. I said we roll out that. You guys kind of already know what Regilecki does. It's hard. Electric moves. That's about it. <laughs> and it, and I was going to use a team uh, with a Regilecki that uses screens with Light Kite. It, it learns Light Screen and Reflect. That's actually pretty cool too. Maybe we'll show it off in another video. But yeah, I just I just don't feel like Regilecki really thrives here. So there's really no point of bringing him. I haven't seen Reggie Draco since like beginning. Since I used him like once. And then I saw actually some people use them, so that's cool. Like when you see people using teams that uh, you were using in videos. But these are Pokemon you're gonna need. Uh, that's kind of scary. Misty Surge is popping. What's popping? The Misty Surge popping, baby. Uh, do I set up a Tailwind? Let's set up a lovely little Tailwind. I think I think we do. I think we do set up a lovely little Tailwind. And I might try to just calm mine. He might help a hand and get after me. But if he goes after me, I think it's gonna be after my Tornado slot. But let's let's just see. Let's see. But right, make a move, dude. Make a move. And a lot of people did catch these uh these horses in Master Balls. I did too. I did too. I caught my horse in a Master Ball. These things were hard to catch, which I actually really really liked. like. I wasn't expecting it because the more recent Pokemon games ever since I think like Gen Six X and Y, legendaries were just easy to catch. But Pokemon like mythical Pokemon, they were just super easy to catch. There's a helping hand. Go after Tornadus, please. Go after Tornadus, please. We get off a Tailwind. Which means my Finny should be able to get a boost off before he even hits me. Oh my, yeah. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to use a Master Ball. So if I, if I came prepared, like, I remember in, like, Gen 4, Diamond and Pearl, like, I was stacked up on Ultra Ball. Ball Legends. I was just humming them out and everything. Trying to catch them. They're a pain in the neck. Here goes a Strike. Okay. Just slow me down. And there you go. Go after Tornadus. I like that. That's fine. Ooh, Tornadus eats, baby. We eating. We're calm mind boosted. Um, I'm like Dynamax, but there goes my speed. But Tailwind is up, which is huge. And this thing is like, good to know, good to know. Uh, I think I just slow these guys down. If you want to slow us down? We'll slow them down. Calm mind again, sir. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with a calm mind. Slow them down. We're gonna calm mind boost up on Finny. Try to get off another one, and then I might just Dynamax. I got leftovers here as well. Get it. Calm my oh. <laughs> Give me boost. Give me boost. Top of Finny boosting up, baby. If you're gonna give me opportunities like this, I'm gonna take them. There's a Phantasm. Eat it. Eat it, Fins. Mmm, tasty. Tasty. I protect this turn, I get some leftover health. Then we slow them down, down again. My defense is dropping. Or do I Calm Mind again? Or do I calm mine again? Here goes a gleam. That's fire. That's fine. And he eats. Oh, you get a crit on my Finny. You biscuit. You biscuit. Uh, I think I just protect Finny here. And uh, I might just get out Metagross and Dynamax him. And Seal Spike and start boosting our stats back. Or boosting my defense back. I get Spike. Metagross is just it's too good. Let's get out. Metagross here. 
Get him out here. Protect Vinny. Start trying to farm some leftovers HP. And get this going. Uh, who do I go after? This is Spectre's last turn, so I'm just going after you because I can definitely see a follow me coming out here. And then just protect you because I'm boosted. I'm boosted on the defensive stats, so I'd rather I'd rather keep that keep that up there and not waste my turns like that. Cause I'd rather uh, take or hit somebody and then uh, protect, hit somebody, protect, and kind of just farm leftovers HP, be thriving from there. I maybe should have protected in the last. Turn. I'm thinking last. But I, again, I didn't think uh, Clefairy was really rolling any attacking moves because some of them don't. Usually when I roll out with them, they're, they're, they're not having anything on them. They're just helping hand. Uh, what else? They follow me. All that, all that other good stuff. Support mod. And the friend guard rocks out really well too. I really do like that ability. Friend guard, it reduces HP for ally Pokemons. That's uh, that's actually very, very huge. But this, uh, this Metagross should be able to just take out that Clefairy no problem. And then we get that defensive boost that actually my, uh, that my Tapu Finney lost. Because we are plus one on defense when we should be plus two. Here's a helping hand. Protect my Finney. I think he's going to go after my Finney. Try to get that thing out the way. Finney's protecting. Get him out of my face. I think he's going to go for another Phantasm. So we're just going to cancel out with the defense bulk and the defense minus. Here's my Steel Spike. We could have went after Spectre area, but I'd rather just take out this, uh, this friend guard over here. Just get rid of the support mods. I forget. Pe people tell me that all the time. Like... If you see like support mods, try to get them out the way first. Like that's big. Unless unless you can absolutely just take out the uh, the attacking mod like one shot and you know it, then you should do that. But he goes after Metagross. That's totally fine. That was not fine. That was not fine. That was not fine. I wasn't expecting him to double me like that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was really expecting him to just eat it up. I seriously thought he was just gonna be able to eat up and roll from there. Okay, all right, that's fine. That is fine. You know, we put ourselves in this hole. We're gonna get right back out of it. We're gonna get out of it. We got like Cinnamon and Finny left. Okay, let's get this out here. We have a fake out ready to go. I'll fake out this next Pokemon he throws out. Hey, dude, that that sucks, man. <laughs> that sucks. I really needed my Metagross. This thing comes out. We gotta intimidate, which I really like. I think we're gonna go fake out for fake out here. But Incineroar should outspeed. Unless what's called this end. And the, ooh, I kinda like the grass. I kinda like the grass shirt. I kinda like the grass shirt. We're gonna be able to get more HP back from that Finny. Um. I faked you out. Sure. Do I still have a Tailwind? How many turns left? We have one turn left in town. And I think I just moon blast over here. Right? I just moon blast this. I think that's the play. Okay, let's get it. I would drop a flare blitz, but at the same time he's probably gonna fake out and that should be a waste of my turn. I'd rather outspeed him, fake out him, and roll from there. E dude, Metagross just took a whooping. I needed him. I thought he was gonna be able to eat up proc weakness policy and then we were just gonna be able to thrive out after that and just be able to dominate. Here comes to protect. That's that's totally fine by me. I, I maybe should have tried reading that and double through onto the Spectre in case. Well, I don't think uh, Finny's killing us. Go with the Moon Blast. Yeah, he get it. Well, does it kill? It? Oh, Finny, chill on him, Finny. Finny coming up big. Here goes my. I get the Grassy Surge and Leftovers, which is huge. And now I can protect. Now I can definitely protect this. Finny. Get more HP because we are boosted on our stats. Tailwind's done. Um, and now who's his final mod? Who is your final mod? It's coming down to the wire. It is. Show me somebody that we can dump on. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Definitely got a flare blitz. Definitely got to protect. That's scary. That is scary. We are plus two on special defense. Board. I really do like protect coming out from the finny. Can you double through? Can you maybe go for a grassy glide and an electric move? Do what you're gonna do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, love to see it. Yeah, Electro Web coming out here. Block, come on, give me this flare butts. Electro Web is gonna hit my uh, instant order though and slow it down just a tad bit. It was already uh, slower than one, so it doesn't really matter. Speed drop. We are gonna get more HP, which is absolutely. We get we get the grass surge and the leftovers. Big damage here. Take it out, bro. I'm so good at this game. I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm too good at this game. <laughs> Yo, we're thriving there. We're playing really well. And there's my berry. There's my berry. Yo, dude, this team's fire. And it's not even like 
it's not even like we're winning because we're just like dominating with like OP Pokemon. We're playing really good. Like the moves choices we're making, the plays that we're making are really, really well. So I'm glad we got a good recording out today. 3 and 0, it's looking like it's looking like it's looking like it. Insane, it's 3 and 0, just Top of Finney's back up high on HP. We'd love to see it. Uh, I think we just, do we just Flare Blitz or do we Darkest Lariat? Uh, I'd rather just Darkest Lariat. Not trying to take a recoil damage here. Go for a Moon Blast here. We are plus two on special defense, so I do not see Tapu Finney really going down to any electric moves here. Let's say it. Let's go, Finney. Say, yo, that's tasty snack. Yeah, dude. Finney can eat up another one. So can Incineroar. So can Incineroar. If this thing had this charge, it might be a different story. But Moon, moon Blast be thriving. Dark Slayer should be able to come in here and pick up the KO, right? Or just Moon Blast. Dude, Finney's too good. Finney is too good to calm my double boost it. Really won us that game. We played really, really well and went 3 0. Ever since I used that Guzzler team a while back, this has been the best team I've used since then. Since then, I have not used a better team than this. This team absolutely rocks out. It's so strong with the Finny and Metagross. You guys already know about that. Then you got that Incineroar and Urshfu, who are two great back-end Pokemon, or Incineroar is a great lead and all that good stuff. And then Regilecki and Tornadus. So this team gels together so well, and it ends up getting you some big wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.